All right, so from the mud room here, you'll enter the dining room. Which is attached to the kitchen, and we'll go in there in a second. Let me come around this way so I can pan. This is the living room. These wooden doors, um, if you close them, they're not quite the length of this opening. These doors are just here for decoration. They were actually pulled off a house in Laporte on Monroe Street, um, one of the old uh, houses over in that section of town. But here's the dining room. I'll try to give you a panoramic shots of every room in the house. Hopefully I'm not going too fast again. So then let's check the kitchen out. Actually, let me try to get all of the cabinets in frame here. I tried flipping my camera sideways to give it a more wide angle, but it really cuts the height. So I think this is the best way to go. I'll just get close to everything. So what the cabinets look like up close. The countertops are black granite. Very nice. Very good condition too. There's no cracks or pock marks. Anything crazy. Kitchen has been fitted with GFCI outlets. That both up here to trip correctly. All the wiring in the house has been updated from the 30s, although some of it is still older non-grounded wiring, which I'll show you when we go to the basement. Um, and there's one or two two-prong outlets still. This goes out to the outside. They've got a little grill over here, I think. And then down here is the basement, which I'll shoot as soon as I finish the living room. So if you come out here, grill, window well. It's from the garage. There's the other side of the garden. Here's a better view of the vacant lot. I thought it'd be cool to buy this lot and plant a bunch of trees and have a little, like, nature sanctuary. Here's the air conditioner. The internals of this were replaced in 2016, I believe. Um, it's in that list of improvements that I sent you. Most of the windows, uh, except for that stained glass window in the front, are, have all been updated to vinyl windows. So coming off the kitchen here, to the right is a half bathroom. It's not very big. But it's big enough. So here's the half bathroom. I've never seen a wooden counter on a sink before. This is the pocket door right here. For the bathroom. I 
This cabinet is built in and will stay. I don't know how you would remove it from the house. That's so big. But people have asked, so that's why I mentioned it. <clears throat> Here's the living room. This fireplace appears to have been wood burning at one point, although it has been um, converted into gas. So you'll see the pipe in the bottom corner there uh, for the the gas line. And there's a little um, valve on it. It goes to the upstairs. Get in the corner here so I can get you a panorama from this way. And then that door to the right leads to the front door of the house where there's a coat closet and a little. Mm, I guess you could call this a mudroom, too. It's a pretty big closet, actually. That's where the stained glass window's other side is. Now I should say that this door does work. Um, it does open. The lock works. There's just a uh, no key for it. Now you might actually be able to buy a key that would fit that lock. If you have a locksmith come and tell you what size it is. Um, if you want to use that front door. The sellers never really have. Uh, or at least they told me that they didn't. So the there's no push knob or anything from the other side. So if it's closed you can't really open it. So, let's head upstairs now.